everyone it's Nat here so I'm on to get on with a simple challenge that we've got in the paper possibilities crazy crafters Facebook group um, it is to make a tag and there were three prompts I pulled that we need to use while making this tag but we can use anything else as well but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple because I'm way behind in my challenges so we had to use a greeting card or like a birthday card, Christmas card, anything like that. We had to use lace and we have to use ink. So all of those go together pretty all right. So I was happy with those prompts. So what I have done is gone through, I have a whole lot of secondhand cards that I found in the secondhand shops around here. I think I have a few of these ones. They're just printed onto like paper. But they are actual cards because they've got the um, all the information on the back as well. So I think I'm going to use that. Now what I want to try and do is keep it together so it can still be opened like a card even though it's going to be a tag. So what I've got is this die and I'd like to try and use this. Now I've just noticed it still has something stuck in there. There, got it out. So I've got my big shot here ready to go. What I'm going to have to do is make sure that this cutting line on the edge here that's going to be here is far enough over that it's not going to cut the paper. And that way we'll still be able to swing it open. So let us give that a go. I'm just thinking I might, might be worth sticking it down so it doesn't shift. So I'm just gonna grab some washi tape for that. Hopefully we don't rip the paper with the washi tape, which can happen. So I'll just grab a couple of little bits. I'm putting them on my jumper to get a bit of fluff on them so they don't stick so well, these pieces of washi tape. So I think if we go about there, we'll get the picture still quite nicely in there. And then we've just got to shift it over so that we don't cut that edge and try not to move it. It'd be good too. About like that. So I'm going to stick that up there. And then I'll get a bit for the bottom. Do it similar. So make sure that we've got it where we want it. And let's hope it doesn't move or else I'll have to get another card. Oh, come undone. All right, let's give it a go. So I've got that there. Put my washi tape away. Trying to keep things clean now that I've got the house organized. Never lasts long. there if I push it too far I'm probably going to move it again so let's put this through Hang on, going through crooked there try that again I think it's because the card is rather thick yeah that's better I'll just go through twice gone through looks like a oh no it's gone through all right up the top as well now let's just hope we didn't cut the edge that we didn't want to cut so now we can take our washi tape off just go slow because I don't want to take the picture off and I've got a little bit here coming off nicely there. so I'm not going to waste this either I can use that uh, for collaging it's quite pretty so let us have a look now there's a bit stuck in there that needs to come out another piece I'll get that out in a minute let me just move my big shot back to its resting place 
don't think we'll be needing that again, hopefully. And I'll just get my pokey tool and try and poke that out. Cool, it did cut through quite nicely, considering. Now I can see, because these this is a stitched die, so it's got the faux stitching. It's a bit crooked down there, but that doesn't matter. And look, it still opens up and it hasn't broken, so that's great. And the other thing is, I've got these sides that are open too, because I'm thinking of doing something with those, because they'll make good little pockets. So now I've just got to figure out how I'm going to do this. just going to poke out the little bit that gets stuck in there so that next time I use it I don't have to do it. Yeah. Put that away. I usually have the information about the dies in there to tell you but it does say Sizzix so say so they're probably just called tags or something like that. It's got a whole lot of different tags. It's a nice set. Right, so we've got that now. So we still need a lace and uh, ink. Well, the ink's an easy one because I'll just ink around the edges. I could do some stenciling in there because we will open it, so it probably does need a bit of stenciling. And then I might sew. Just thinking. We're going to put things in there. Actually, we won't sew. We will just stick down and leave the edges open to put something in. Just debating whether I want to put something in from the top or whether I want to put something in from the side. Maybe little journaling cards in the side would be pretty cool. All right, so... What I will do then is stick down where we want to stick, so at least that will be done. So we'll stick up the top. See, that would just come out now, wouldn't it? So we could even just have a singular one and then do something else with that if we want. That might work better. So yes, I'll stick it down up the top and I'll stick it down down the bottom and leave it open so we can slip something in here. I think that'll work. I have no idea what I'm doing, if you can't tell. <laughs> I'll just come and get this done. Oh, my glue's getting very empty. It's still going and I'm determined to finish it all off. Got that done. And then some down here. Means we won't be able to write on the inside, but that doesn't matter. You can write on the back anyway. That's pretty. Now with the lace, I can either put it through, which I might look quite nice with the lace um, tag topper, or I can stick some lace on there, or I can do a bit of both. So I'll have a think about that, but we've got to make something that slips in there now, don't we? So... not quite wide enough really is it unless I use it to decorate this a bit just find some scissors if I cut this down it's gonna be pretty well the right size so Here, I 
That should be right to slip in. Sturdy if I just do the one, but then we would need a little tab on that so that we can pull in and out. We can use the lace for the tab on that as well. a bit of this to decorate it with. Cut the bit that's been sort of embossed off. I did cut it quite crooked. Probably look best over that side. I'm just going to stick it on and neaten it up afterwards. I'm in a kind of no-fuss mood. Yep. So it's getting quite late now. I've done a book haul video and I've done a craft haul video. I thought I'd better get some actual crafting done. Then I want to go and try my um, daughter left her printer here because she has nowhere really to put it. And she bought quite an expensive one. She said it's actually not that very good. But I ruined the cartridge for mine. And instead of buying a new cartridge, I thought, well, she's probably got hers full of ink. So I might, might use it. Um, so I might do a bit of printing afterwards and see how it goes. It's quite crooked, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe if I make that crooked, we won't notice. Let it dry a bit, and then I want to corner around. I think that'll be all right. Just debating if I want to put something down in to make it a bit thicker too, because it is. That way I could even up the crooked piece. If I need to. Just to make it a bit thicker. Although it doesn't look as good, so we won't. Alright, so I'm going to corn around. Uh -huh. So we still need to use some ink. glue that I can see. Just there. Looks a bit better. So I'll grab some blue ink I reckon. So I've got here some chipped sapphire that we'll have to do. back a bit.
might find a little stencil and just do a tiny little bit of stenciling on those so they're not so plain white. So let's see what little stencils I have. Oh, which I did just put in this book. Thank Janine for the idea. She stores hers like this and thought what a good idea because I was sick of the way I stored mine. That might be okay. Which is the Diamond Flourish from Kaiser Craft. So I just want a hint of it here and there I think. Be careful with this one because I always lift up the little intricate parts of it and it makes me angry. Yeah, that's nice. I don't want too much or too uniform. Here we go, bending it all everywhere again. Must remember to dab. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that too. Grab a baby wipe to wipe it down with. to do a lace. So I can have to fit that in that way. I'm just thinking if I want a word on it at all. I do have some white ones in my Tim Holtz. Is that small talk? Yeah. Maybe I will just do believe in yourself. I'm just thinking maybe I'd like to put a bit of lace under that, although I quite like the simplicity of it just like that. What I don't like is how much room there is after the words. and see if there's anything and if not I will have to look at my bigger pieces. Got a little bit of that and I, that's a blue and that's a blue. Not that it has to be blue but I think it'll look nice. Oh, I've got a little flower. pieces of this so that might just have to do so which one of these is longest they're about the same I think those two I could do two bits even I don't know let's just have a look what they look like as a tag topper too bad I'd have to figure out how to stick them down I think unless I just do a tiny attacher so I quite like that and then it's a bit too much Do a little 
little tab for that. I'll put it in. All right, grab my tiny attacher out. Why not? I never use the thing, so that's if it's in here. Oh, yeah, it's in here. So let's get these how we sort of want them. Just about like that. Hopefully we can grab them all. Doesn't look too bad. And we can do similar for this, although this needs to be cut down just a tad, I think. Or do we want it more like, or do we want a thicker piece that runs? That'd look quite nice running along like that, wouldn't it? Now I'm changing my mind. Oh, how would this piece go? Just about perfect, isn't it? <laughs> oh, now I'm going to have to do that, and then I don't know if I'm going to have a, um, a tab. Unless I make a paper tab. Which is a possibility. Let me have a look. I think I've got paper tab maker here. Let's see what we can do. I think that won't work. I think we could try it. If I don't like it with the pattern on, I can always make a white one. Worth trying. I kind of like that. Might look alright. Give it a bit of ink. tab on first and then we'll stick our lace on. So I hope you are all well. I just went out to try and take a photo of the, was it a super blood moon? Silly thing. It was so cold, uh, cloudy out there I couldn't even find the moon, <laughs> which says something. I was a bit devastated and then I waited and there was just this little little pocket of um, sky and I was able to get a photo, but it wasn't, it wasn't like a blood moon at all. It must have stopped before I managed to get out there and see it, so oh well. Using glue everywhere. It's better. Now we want to put our lace on. Try and figure out the right side. That will do. Now this is going to be a bit fidgety, I think, because it's very sheer lace. So I might use got art glitter glue. Does that hold? lace down it probably would it's only really light lace or even my um 
stick glue would probably hold this stuff down, but I'll try some art glitter glue. I haven't used this stuff for yonks. Now too much is going to come out. I am sure. Oh, see? I'll spread it down. <laughs> now I know why I haven't used it for yonks. I need to put it in a small bottle. Enough, it will hold it. We will see. I do have oh, my little, yep, might work. My thin tip with my um, Helmars 450 in it. I can get it out. I haven't used this for yonks either, so it takes a bit of going to get it going. Yep, there we go. Let's have a look. Let's just get a bit down here. And a bit along there. There we go, and that should be better. I've just got to let that dry so we can slip it into our little tuck spot. Kind of like that, it's cute. It's actually a great use of the old cards that just sit around. Usually I just stick them into a journal as they are and you can open them up in that, but that's a really nice tag. Probably should have put some lace under that. some on top just to use it could cut a bit off let's have a look edge. That's kind of nice. This hopefully is dry enough now. So that's the back. That looks all right with that tab actually. I quite like it. And slip that in the side. I hope it fits because we didn't really try it, did we? Oh, that fits in nicely. There we go so that's it that was nice quick and easy so that is my tag for my embellishment challenge in our group um, i made it with the greeting card i used lace i used ink yeah <laughs> so that was good fun so thanks for coming along with me guys hope that gave you some ideas on what you can do with your cards as well and i will see you again soon bye